Welcome back, my students, to a brand new episode of Comic Class. In today's lesson, guys, we're looking at Stanley and Steve goes the Amazing Spider-Man issue 21. And this this basically features the Human Torch and the Beetle, which is, I guess, a Human Torch villain at this point. Uh, but I believe that he or she, I don't know if the Beetle's boy or girl, um, is a Spider-Man villain from this point on, because I do think people consider the Beetle a Spider-Man villain. So I don't really know too much about the character, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, let's jump right into today's story. Let's go. Real quick guys, if you want to help me get more videos out faster, you can donate to the channel at the cash app down below. This helps me treat these videos more like a job and will help the channel and videos to grow and come out more often. I appreciate anyone who donates or doesn't donate and don't feel like you have to to be a fan of the channel. You can still show your support by liking and commenting on the video and with that out of the way, hope you enjoy the video. So this story basically shows us a flashback and introduces us to the character of the Beetle, which is I guess a Human Torch villain at this point. And we basically see that the, that the Beetle wants to get revenge on the Human Torch, and he has a really interesting way to go about it. Now Johnny is basically, um, you know, in a I guess in an argument with his girlfriend, and eventually we get to see that he is using his flame powers, I guess, to impress the people of New York. And it's just a really interesting dynamic between these two. Now, Spider-Man basically sees the Human Torch, uh, you know, uh, do some tricks for the New Yorkers, and he has a very interesting perspective in that he feels like the people in New York don't respect him as much as they respect the Human Torch. You know, they basically love the Fantastic Four in New York City. And Spider-Man does understand why they hate him and love the Fantastic Four. Um, and yeah, that's something I really don't understand either, but I guess it could be because of J.J. Jameson's publicity that he always gives him bad publicity. And the Fantastic Four don't really have to deal with stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so the Beetle basically sees the Human Torch, uh, basically going back to his home. I guess he's trying to, like, uh, troll him or tell him. And eventually the Human Torch uh, arrives and he talks to his girlfriend at, I guess, her place. And she basically makes him do a bet that, you know, he can't go, you know, he can't flame on basically for 24 hours. Or they're not going to be in a relationship anymore, she'll break up with him. And the Beetle basically overhears this and enacts his plan basically as uh, the Human Torch leaves. And eventually, we get to see that Peter actually helps out the Human Torch's girlfriend. And the Human Torch's girlfriend basically tells uh, the Human Torch, you know, she tells Johnny that the guy that you just saw, you know, leave their house or leave her house basically knows how to treat her right and stuff like that. So the Human Torch uh, basically gets jealous and he goes off to talk to Peter, basically uh, telling him off a little bit. And Betty overhears this and thinks that Peter is actually cheating on her uh, with this uh, woman. And Peter basically goes off on the Human Torch, letting, you know, him know that he doesn't think anything much about him. Because, you know, Peter kind of forgets that, he, you know, he can't let people know that he's Spider-Man. So he feels like this because he has powers, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, but no one else knows, so it almost comes off as, like, Peter's just being, like, super cocky and stuff like that. Even the Human Torch is surprised that he's talking to him like this because he doesn't know that Peter is actually Spider-Man. Which would make it really interesting if he actually knew uh, Peter's identity as Spider-Man. Um, and yeah, so we get to see that the Beetle basically is going to try attacking the, the uh, Human Torch's girlfriend when Spider-Man arrives and he actually attacks um, the Beetle basically, or the Beetle attacks him and they get into a confrontation. Now, the reason why Spider-Man was even in this place is he was going to try making Johnny jealous by making Spider-Man trying to hit on his girlfriend instead of just Peter Parker. Um, and Peter didn't even really like hit on her, he just like helped her out, he was a nice guy. But I guess he had gotten a little mad at what happened with Johnny, and he was going to try getting, like, some little, like, petty revenge or something. So I really do enjoy that when Peter tries to act selfishly, that it kind of bites him. And, uh, that just goes with Spider-Man characters so well. So they basically get into a fight, and the fight scene's pretty interesting. Uh, the Beetle can kind of hold his own against Spider-Man pretty well. And eventually we get to see that, uh, the girlfriend of the Human Torch basically calls him and tells him, that Spider-Man and the Beetle are fighting outside her house. But the Human Torch basically doesn't believe her, and she realizes that she keeps, like, messing with him, and that's why, you know, he won't believe her now that she really needs him. 
Eventually, their battle, uh, Spider-Man and the Beetle basically go into her house and break through her window. And the battle's pretty interesting. Eventually, uh, Spider-Man, uh, I guess, wasn't able to, you know, grab uh, the human turtle's girlfriend before the Beetle. And they basically uh, give chase to him, basically, to save her. Eventually, the Human Torch arrives to his girlfriend's house, and he sees that she wasn't lying, so he flames on and goes to try to help his girlfriend and save her from the Beetle. Now, he basically sees Spider-Man and thinks that Spider-Man basically kidnapped her or is working with the Beetle, and, you know, Spider-Man basically tries to dodge as many of the fireballs that uh, the Human Torch is throwing at him, and he even uses his webbing to try to, like, uh, tie up the Human Torch, but he just, you know, increases his heat and melts the webs and stuff like that and yeah it's a really cool battle scene that we get to see between these two heroes eventually spider-man is able to trick the human torch into going to the area where the beetle and his girlfriend are kind of realizing that spider-man is not the bad guy and that the beetle is the one that did all of this uh to his girlfriend basically kidnapping her and even uh might have even almost hurt her uh, so, so the human torch and spider-man basically team up and they have some really cool action sequences and eventually they both attack the beetle at once and this allows uh, Johnny to put the beetle in some type of like fire cage and we get to see that you know the human torch basically talks to uh, his girlfriend her girlfriend is very wary of um, Spider-Man because of all the bad publicity that J.J. Jameson has been doing but the human torch Johnny basically tells her that he believes that Spider-Man's actually a good guy uh, underneath it all and that he doesn't believe in what J. Jonah Jameson and people are saying about him and this really shows the type of like type of rivalry slash friendship the two have uh, and we even get to see some inner dialogue of Spider-Man basically thinking of how much stuff is going wrong in his life and he basically needs to go on top of I guess a skyscraper or something to basically just think about his life right now what does that at least gonna have to do next and basically try to just fix a lot of these problems he's dealing with at this moment in his story and that's pretty much how the issue ends and yeah yeah that was Stanley and Steve Jacobs the amazing Spider-Man issue 21 um, for an issue that had another like featuring uh, being the human torch and the beetle the last uh, featuring being with Daredevil was really really solid and I'm glad this one was solid too. Overall just a fun little story. It had a lot of good action sequences in it but it also had a good uh, chemistry between uh, Spider-Man and uh, the Human Torch and the rivalry. They have a good chemistry with the rivalry and it seems like they will have more team ups in the future. At least that's what it seems like in this issue how it ends. And hopefully eventually the Human Torch figures out Spider-Man's identity so we can get more of that type of interaction in Spider-Man's Souls series. Uh, but that's going to be all guys for today's video. Be sure to continue watching the Stanley E.S.T. Dicker uh, run videos. We're already over halfway done with this series uh, for this run. Uh, so we're going to try finishing it here in November. Uh, the whole, you know, series of the Stanley E.S.T. Dicker run. But that's going to be all guys. Till next video. God bless you. Until the next lesson. Keep on reading those comments.